the hoop, huh? This nigga out dirty. I'm the same nigga that ride with the one and that nigga sit down like his niggas go church. What is good, y'all boys? As you can see, we in the car right now just riding around. I was trying to do something today. It's Saturday, you know. It's very, very fucking nice out, as you can tell, in Florida right now. Oh, wait, hold on. But anyways, before I almost got into a crash right there, tonight is leg day. Um, we're going to a different gym. It's the elite gym that I've been talking about that I filmed my app at. And uh, it's definitely a very nice gym. It's very smaller than the one I go to now and everything. But it's um, it's very low-key. It's very like a dark vibe. So it's going to be a great-ass workout tonight, especially for a leg day. We're going to have to go crazy. Tonight, we got quad focus as well, so it's going to be heavy squats. Uh, all that type of shit, but anyways, uh, I got my samples for season two of my brand coming in pretty damn soon. It should be within like two weeks, and then my restock for season one with all the shorts you guys been wanting should be here in about a week and a half, two weeks around the same time. So, really excited for that. I also did drop the prices a little bit because I feel like I was overcharging, so wanted to help y'all out. I'm not really in it too much for the money, you know what I mean. I just want my brand to blow up one day, which it will, but I just gotta give it time. Like, dog, sometimes I just ride around and, like, this is, like, one of the neighborhoods and, like, beachside that has, like, huge-ass houses. Like, it's fucking crazy, bro. But sometimes I just ride around here trying to, like, you know, manifest my dreams. I'm gonna make it one day, I know, but it's gonna take some time, but it's crazy. I'm gonna show y'all a big-ass house in a second if I can get one. Like, dog, look at, look, you can't even see the damn houses because they're gated. Exclusive private property. Exclusive, my nigga. But no, yeah, it's crazy looking at some of these houses out here. Fucking, mi oh my god. Nigga, I swear to God, I just see the house that had a garage on top of a garage. Nigga, how is that possible? These niggas got too much money. But let me enjoy this little rest of the ride while I'm vibing out. And uh, oh my god, yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, yo. I hope y'all just seen that shit. Holy shit. But I'll, I'll get back to y'all boys in a second. I'm gonna finish riding now, enjoy my little time alone, whatever. And then uh, I'll get back to y'all when I'm at the house and update with y'all with everything. Cause I got some news. I'll see y'all then. <sighs> All right, now we are back home. I still got the pile of clothes here. Don't mind that. Look at my little cuties. Hey, guys. Hey, Chloe. All right, y'all boys. All right, let me take these damn glasses off. So as you can see, you know what I'm saying? We got a new hat. I'm tired of wearing that fucking Young LA one. I've been wearing that shit forever. We got a red sock. This shit is hard, though. And it's going to match with the gym fits, too. I also picked up a red hat right here. I don't even know what team is that. that is. I mean... Someone can comment down below what team. Oh, Cardinals. All right, there we go. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even be wearing like any of these hats, dog. But it's mainly because my head is so damn big, it can't fit into any of them. But yeah, um, I'm really excited about these samples. I know I already talked about them earlier, but bro, I'm gonna give y'all a little preview up close this time. Now, unlike the computer, of what season two is gonna look like right here. But that's all you're getting. So it, it, it's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. I also have hats and socks on the way i'm not going to show that yet but i also ordered them as a sample too so they should be coming in pretty soon really excited about that what i also picked up damn that old uzi plan oh fuck where is it? i'm telling me a lot oh yes sir ski we have an actual razor now instead of me using that um this little this little thing for my eyebrows, I have an actual razor, and it did come with like 13 different like attachments. So if I did want to like learn to cut my own hair, I could. But do I want to take that chance and risking my hairline going back 50 years? No. So we're just sticking to this for now. It's pretty damn easy. I just lined it up like that. I literally did it like yesterday or two days ago, and they're already growing back. This is what I'm talking about, bro. They grow so damn fast, dog. Like, look. Oh my god, it's so fucking annoying. But yeah, we got this. Um after I get a haircut, which I haven't gotten like a month and a half this week, because I'm probably going to the club Friday night, so even, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, we gotta turn up! But, you know, after the haircut, I'm gonna try to like line up my own hairline after like a couple days or every couple days so it stays pretty sharp. I don't wanna just do my hairline like this as it is because I'll definitely fuck it up. But I also bought an attachment to help with that too. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I believe it's called a um, cut buddy. If any of you guys know what that is, did I fucking already lose it? All right, never mind. I found it. So yeah, this is called a cut, buddy. And apparently, like, when you take off your hair, yeah, don't mind my hair. I know I, I, I haven't gotten a haircut like a month and a half. But I don't know. I kind of want to keep it low because I, I do have waves, but I haven't brushed it in a while, so it's like I, I kind of want to keep it low. But I also want my mohawk back. <sighs> I don't know. But yeah, this is called a cut, buddy. So apparently, it goes like this. So whenever I would cut my hair or I get my hair cut. After a couple days or a week, whatever, when the hairline starts growing back, I basically 
line it up pretty sharp like this. I draw with a little pencil and I just basically follow the edge just like that. So it's pretty damn easy. I don't see how I could fuck it up, but you know, who knows what fucking me. So usually I do my little cleaning days and everything on Sundays, but today I was kind of bored. I really didn't have much to do, even though I try to keep myself busy. So I just cleaned up my whole entire house, cleaned up my car. And like I said, it's really fucking nice. So I wish I can go do something, but I don't have any fucking friends or a girlfriend anymore, so. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. But anyways, I just got informed because um, with the gym we're going to tonight, I don't have a membership like I've said in the past. So usually my friend lets me in. But I just got informed that he's not coming or showing up to the gym there until like 9.30 p.m. My nigga, what the fuck am I supposed to do till then? Oh my god, I'm trying to... Uh, I would honestly run up some Fortnite, but dog, I fucking suck at it now. And there's so many damn tryhards on that bitch now. It's like impossible to play, bro. I'm telling you, I, I, I get in the game, jump off the battle bus, I land, I look up, and there's like 80 stories high of building. Like nigga, give me a chance, bro. I'm about to play on no build mode, and I still die. <laughs> and as far as my diet goes and everything too, um... I have been consistent ever since the last video. Um, I've been sticking to my diet, hitting my cardio still anywhere from like four to six, seven times a week. I've um, been feeling really good. I'm starting to lean out fast now that I'm actually being consistent with the diet. Like I said, I should have been over with this shit like a month ago, but I've had so many damn cheat meals and times where I just wanted to go out and enjoy life, have fun, whatever. So I've let that get in the way, but we're almost to the goal. I'll probably give it another month, month and a half and see how, because I'm, I'm trying to get like crazy shredded. I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to have no fucking dad bod look. I'm trying to like be shredded like type shit. And I also haven't weighed myself in a while, but I'm probably around like 197 morning weight right now. And um, I'll show y'all for the I'll show y'all the physique when I um I'm at the gym when I'm done with the workout like I always do. And the lighting there is crazy. Wait till y'all see the light. Wait, have I have I ever done a YouTube video there? Is this gonna be the first one? Ooh! But y'all will see the gym, bro. It's like a very nice dark vibe too, especially since we're going late at night. It's gonna be like one of those just like perfect perfect workout days heavy squats too oh my god we about to go crazy speaking of lifting heavy too um i also tested out my deadlift because i showed y'all in the last video that i started using straps now and i tested out my max deadlift well not max but rep pr and i threw 405 on the other day when i did a hamstring focus leg day on wednesday bro nigga i did 405 for like nine or ten reps and i swear to god i could have done like 15 Pull out the fucking deadlift calculator right now. I want to see what my max is. And yes, it is sumo, so fuck you. All right, so apparently, according to this faulty little uh, deadlift calculator, I am in the elite range. 98% <laughs> stronger of male lifters at your age, weighing 198. God damn. Nigga, I'm about to enter in powerlifting. I'm not going to lie, y'all boys. If I started doing powerlifting, I'd be crazy. I'm not going to lie, because I'm, I'm kind of strong, kind of strong. It would estimate that my max would be around 600 pounds. Damn! Nigga, my max was 500 in, in Halloween like a year ago. Well, I guess that makes sense. Kind of year, but god damn. I kind of want to test it out now, but there's no way I can actually stick to powerlifting. I love bodybuilding too much, going to failure, killing myself, you know, all that cringy shit, whatever. I, just, I love it too much. Also, y'all boys, so with my samples coming in for the season two drop of my brand, um, why is it turning dark? God damn it! As I was saying, so for the samples, or the whole entire drop, um, not the restock though, but the next drop and then any restocks and clothing moving forward after season two. Um, I've also fixed my uh, mesh shorts, so if you bought from me already, um, the mesh shorts are really good, I'm not gonna lie. They're already good quality, uh, very good fitting, but I don't like how the leg opening at the bottom is very like tight, so with the Anaka shorts I have right here, so you see how they're very like stretchy material type shit. And they're just like a natural, like bigger leg opening. So mine are a little bit tight like this. And especially for like big legged people like me, it can be kind of like uncomfortable. And um, I definitely wanted to fix that. So I'm making stretchier shorts. I'm having an elastic waistband instead of using strings. So elastic waistband is the Anaka shorts too. It's very, very stretchable just like this. And even if you are like, you have a, you have a bigger waist or you're a bigger size, when it stretches out, it's not tight at all. So I got that for my shorts too. Um, no strings, stretchier material, and then the designs that I'm having for the, oh my god, it's, it's over, my nigga, it's over. And I'm not trying to like copy a knock or anything, but they do have some of the best mesh shorts in the market, so why not try to, you know, be like them and charge half the price that they charge, you know what I'm saying? So, very excited about that, but 
I'm gonna try to run some Fortnite, some fucking tryhards on the game, and not me fucking throw my damn computer across the damn room when I get mad about a game. But I'm gonna hop on there for a little bit, or probably a long bit, and I'll get back to y'all boys when it is time for the workout tonight. I can already tell it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be great vibes. Like I said, I, I love that dark vibe type of shit. Probably gonna blast some Suicide Boys during the workout, some Xavier Wolf. You know what I'm saying? So I'll get back to y'all boys when it's time for that. It's not gonna be for a while, but. I'll see y'all then. Three hours later. Bro, do y'all see how late it is? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, bro. This is the latest I have ever worked out at. I mean, I've gotten out of the gym at like 11, whatever, at crunch. That's when it closes, obviously. But like, I'm going into the gym for a high volume leg day. Quads. Heavy squats. At 10 p.m. Bro, I'm not gonna leave that gym till like 12.30 or 1 a.m. That is fucking insane. That's dedication right there. And I, w I was gonna go earlier because I did have a lot of time throughout the day, but for some reason I was just feeding to go to this gym and go at night. So now we're here. Um, I got everything ready in my little fucking drug deal gym bag right here. I got the knee sleeves, the squat shoes, but I think I'm gonna start easing off with the squat shoes because even though they are really good, especially if you have bad ankle mobility, whatever, bro, the 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 top front, let me, let me lock my door, I'm getting paranoid. The top front of the shoe is so skinny and it like crushes your toes. And I woke up the other day and I had very bad pain in my feet because I've been wearing these, you know, tight shoes, especially the squat shoes, they hurt very bad. But other than that, I'm really excited for this leg day. I hope y'all enjoy. Um, like I said, a couple of y'all, a couple of y'all probably seen the gym already because I have filmed there for my app, my training app. Which is uh, right there if you want to join the club. Uh, it's one dollar a month your first month, fifteen dollars a month after that. Daily workouts, motivation, fifty pre boot workouts, programs, and more. But yeah, um, this workout's gonna be crazy. I can already feel the vibes. They're really good, and I know what y'all thinking. I'm not tired at all. I'm very energized, very ready to get this workout in. And I was supposed to go at like eight, eight thirty, but my friend, you know, he had to work, do his thing, whatever. That's not a problem. But I'm kind of good, or I'm kind of happy. That it took a while for him to respond or whatever because for some reason my pre-workout meal did not go down good and i'm still kind of feeling it like digesting a little i don't know i might just have kidney failure or something <laughs> but hey y'all boys y'all see the rice krispie tree we're gonna get this down super quick and then once we get to the gym we're gonna do our little hip warm up open up our hips lower back etc go straight into the squats i'm not sure if i'm gonna go super heavy today because the last time i did um heavy squats was last week or two and it was at the same gym and I did my top set, my last set, 405 for like five or six. So we're gonna see how it turns out. But I am definitely ready to kill this fucking leg day. You guys already know it's nighttime, dark vibes. You guys, we got the Suicide Boys on. So I'm gonna let this ride out for a quick second and then we're gonna get to the gym. I hope y'all enjoy the workout. <laughs>
Alright, what's good job boys? So it is after the workout. It's only I say only like it's not late as hell, but it is almost getting to uh 12 30. Um, I thought I was honestly gonna stay till like 1 1 30. I was gonna stay and do cardio, but listen, I am tired and I still have around like 14 1500 calories to eat, still, still, still. And so I, I don't know what I'm gonna go home and cook up. I might just have something small then go to bed. It'll help the cut, anyways, because I do need less calories. I'm trying to get this shit over with. But wow, I am proud of myself. Like, even though that gym has like perfect lighting, like literally perfect lighting and Obviously, I have a camera, so everything's gonna look good. But, bro, I'm getting abs now. Like, I'm getting my abs back, bro. And it's been so, so fucking long since I've seen that. It's literally been like a year since I've had like good looking abs like this. But, you know, I still wanna keep going with the cut. I, I wanna give it like another month, month and a half. Like I said in the last videos, I really wanna see what my physique is looking like. And I really wanna uh, be able to challenge my mind, challenge myself. But overall, the workout was fucking wonderful. Um, started off with the squats. That was definitely my ego lift of the whole session. I went kind of heavy there. Ended up doing the 405 for, um, I think, four or five for my top set. Last week, I did like six. But listen, my back is, my lower back is fried from doing the uh, PR with the deadlifts from the other day. Because when I was trying to do the RDLs, even with 185, even though I do, you know, do a very slow tempo, my lower back was like, oh! I guess you can say instead of saying my leg for SpongeBob, it's, uh, I'm like, I can't even say any dad jokes right now. But yeah, that was honestly one of the best workouts I've had in a long time, like seriously. And just seeing my physique afterwards and seeing that my legs are getting cut, it's just, it, 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 the cut's really paying off. Like I tell you guys all the time how hard it is for me to cut, like it truly is hard. Like out of the week, I usually have like two to three cheat days. Like that's a shit ton. It shouldn't even be any cheat days. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just trying to, you know, look good, feel good, whatever. As you know, Jack West would say, I'm just trying to be a fucking weapon type shit. But yeah, it was a great workout, man. And then surprisingly, there was a couple people in there. And um, after like an hour around like 11, it was getting really dead. It was like only one or two. But at, when I fucking, when I was leaving the gym, nigga, there's like six, seven people in that bitch now. Look at this shit. I don't know if y'all can see, but the fucking, the parking lot's kind of full. Like some, a lot of niggas in there now, but... Wow, that was a great session. We'll definitely be coming back here again. Probably for like a push day or something. Or maybe um, a hamstring focus leg day. Definitely at night again. But not this fucking late. Uh, it's past my fucking bedtime. But I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, uh, season two is coming on the way for my brand Vintage Pump Covers. Probably in like a month, two months, around that. Very, very excited for this drop. The shorts, this drop are about to be fucking insane, as well as the shirts. And as always, you know, links all down below in the description. Is that a raccoon? In the description. So get at me with that. I really hope you boys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more uh, content in this gym because it is a lot easier to film in here because I have, you know, no one in there so I can film a lot more space. I can go in angles that, you know, look a lot better and go farther away and have it zoom in so it has that blurred background effect, you know, all that type of shit. But I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video. We out, man. We out, nigga. Young nigga, I got new cash. I got old cash. Goddamn, it's the gold man. It's the gold man.